Players have been asking us about that for a long time. I suppose that almost every World of Warships player knows Dasha Perova. That's why it was a logical decision to use her image for a commander in our project. That's so cool. I'm so pleased, and it's an honor for me to be a commander. Because I'll be constantly on the move, a seafarer accompanied by crew. And I hope that I can be helpful on your ships. I want to be helpful. Players from all countries were asking us about that everywhere. We read comments on the website, forum, YouTube, everywhere. That's why we decided that Dasha should stand at the helm of ships belonging to different nations. It was a real challenge for all of our team. We understood the burden of responsibility that fell on our shoulders. That's why we approached the selection of costumes and haircuts with utmost seriousness. We did our best when we developed a style for every commander represented by Dasha. Commanders take a special place in the port, and we spend a lot of time creating them. We have special rules that we obey when designing commanders. We've never told you about that, but I suppose this episode is right for it. Firstly, how many commanders do we have in the game? Has anyone counted them? We've prepared more than 150 commanders who are dressed in historical uniforms, and we have more than 20 so-called event commanders who were prepared for our Halloween and space battles. We need an actor, a person who will become a prototype for a commander, to design one. That's why we arrange special days, where we take photos of our employees. Secondly, following the photo shoot, the art team starts their long and hard work, because all our employees are young guys, and a commander must be a strong-willed, seasoned mariner. That's why we make our guys look old and add mighty eyebrows, mustaches, and wrinkles to their pictures. We created various images, and it was very interesting. The most complicated part was finding these images. They needed to reflect the era and nation, and they had to be right for me too. It's important to remember that World of Warships has a clearly defined historical era. It's the first half of the 20th century. We made thorough preparations for designing every image. On the one hand, we needed to choose clothes that would reflect a nationality, and on the other hand, the clothes needed to be historically accurate. Upon designing the costumes, we encountered another dilemma, because every naval officer has their own uniform, but it's Dasher on the screen. Dasher is a beautiful girl, and we wanted to highlight her uniqueness. The task wasn't simple, and we were pressed for time. But thanks to the hard work of our stylists, I could change my look very quickly. The stylists did a really great job. The photo shoot was very cool. We had a lot of different pictures with Dasha, like Dasha from the left, Dasha from the right, from above, from below. We didn't even have to use Photoshop or some other kind of magic. I never could have imagined becoming a commander. I'm pleased that the developers are constantly inventing new surprises for me. I'm touched, and I hope players will like it too. We hope that you like commanders, and you can choose one who maybe even looks like you. We also hope that commanders make the game more humane for you, because World of Warships isn't just a game about war machines, it's also a game about heroic deeds. Our team did a great job. Play the game, sink ships, and treat your eyes.